Now the normal Burisnin paper for the 11 plus exam is quite difficult for many students who are going to take the exam due to its unusuality compared to the other types of exams because of uh, its variety of questions, um, the different styles of questions because um, of shapes and that can be really difficult if you want to get the best possible grades or marks for you to land in your dream grammar school but if you do follow the strategies in this video then you will get the best possible marks. So let's get straight to the video. Now just before we do, if you are not subscribed to this channel yet and you're interested in my 11 plus tricks and tips videos then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly uploads. Alright, so um, the normal reasoning paper as I said is a quite difficult paper but what are the different types of strategies you can use for the, for it to get the best possible marks. Now there's diff um, I'll be going through some study mind um, strategies and some non-study mind strategies. So let's start off with some study mind strategies, what you can do whilst you're working and whilst you're preparing for your exams. Now, strategy number one would be to use a process of elimination. You've probably heard this many times, but this can really help you a lot because of its um, success you will have lots of options to choose from but if you eliminate the ones that are um, quite different and the ones you know that will definitely not be the answer then it can really uh, relax you down there's less chances uh, there's less options to choose from and that can really gain your confidence and you to be able to think more and um, say so you could also make silly mistakes if you don't um, eliminate those that were easy because most of the options in the paper or the questions will be quite similar so you need to eliminate those first now um, strategy number two would be to practice practice and practice because even though you think you're confident at normal reasoning or you don't think you're um, confident at normal reasoning practicing will really help because um, if you try the more variety of questions you try the more confident you will be um, and even if you're confident uh, you might get some questions that you never tried before because you've simply relied on one type of book or one type of worksheet from a particular website so the more websites or more books you use the more confident you will get so i will leave some uh, worksheets and links in the description for the different types of books and check out my best books um, 11 plus video so you can see which books will really help you for your non verbal reasoning um, test as well and um, the third and last strategy for study mind uh, um, to get the best possible number of reasoning marks is to draw out the shape during the question. Now this works most effectively with the types of questions that you use for um, the cube net shapes. So the ones where they give you a cube and they say which net is it or the other way around. Now if you're drawing out the cube then it really helps you because even if it's going to be a rough sketch it really helps you to um, see which one's the closest and it's much better than um, thinking or practically um, or thinking out all, um, the solution all in your head because it'll make it one step easier so then you know that you're confident and you'll get the question right so there's higher chances of getting the question right now we've moved um, now we've talked about the study mind strategies let's move on to the non-study mind strategies what kind of strategies or uh, everyday life tricks you can you use for you to get really good non-verbal reasoning uh, marks now um, you can play games such as jigsaw puzzles or spot the difference because these are um, types of games that are much similar to the questions you can get in the exam. Um, these are not really test style questions but it's still tested in 11 plus so spot the difference you'll get shapes and you have to find which one's the most different from all the options if you play games like that um, then it'll really help you jigsaw puzzles just because you have to solve them all into one and those can relate to many types of questions in the non verbal reasoning paper and one more interesting one is to play computer games such as minecraft and you're probably thinking why minecraft well that's because uh, Minecraft um, has, is, is a type of game that's got many uh, types of shapes in it, many types of problem solving um, thoughts that you need to overcome to be successful at the game, to go to different levels or to go to different portals. And that's what happens in the um, 11 plus non verbal reasoning. You have to um, think. Um, how you can solve the problem and there's multiple steps in it just like Minecraft and that can really help you so those are the different types of tips and strategies you can use to get the uh, best number of reasoning marks um, comment down below if you're using different types of strategies to the ones I've been um, I've talked about in this video and how successful they've been um, so just as I said before worksheets are linked in the description if you did like this video then do leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one